Okay, so this will be the last story of the day, guys. And I don't even, I don't even want to talk about this. I don't even want to talk about it because it's so ridiculous. And if it actually happens, I, I don't know what I'll do. Let me explain myself instead of sputtering on like a, like a bad car engine. Um, <laughs> apparently, the YouTuber, Logan Paul, who we've, we've talked about on this channel, has been into fighting. We covered his KSI fight. We've covered Jake Paul's fight with a Nissan Gib. We're, we're fully in this. The YouTube fighting thing, I, I, I wanted to keep myself separated from it. Fuck it. We're all in on it, okay? We're all in. Uh, apparently, there, there have been talks. I don't know how true this is. But I'm, again, I'm late to the party. I'm almost like a month late to the party on this. There have been talks between Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather of an exhibition boxing match uh, to be put on sometime in December, I guess. Uh, we haven't really heard anything since about... I, I'm just finding the story, but nothing's really been said about it since about mid-September. But uh, things are being kept close to the vest. Logan on his podcast saying he's in training camp for a fight. Won't really say who the opponent is, probably because there's not one signed. If this happens, boxing is dead. Boxing is absolutely dead if this happens. You're talking about a guy in Logan Paul that has won professional fight, professional because he got licensed, I'm not sure how, in California, against arguably the greatest boxer to ever live. Yes, Floyd is old now. He, what is he, late 40s now? I don't know. He's old. We get it. But let's, let, 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 let's also throw another fuck you uh, factor into this fight. I'm about 205 pounds, and that's about where Logan Paul weighs. Floyd Mayweather walks around at probably 155 pounds. What the hell are we talking about? What are we talking about? There, there's just a point where, and again, I was such a big fan of the Conor McGregor and, and Floyd Mayweather uh, boxing match. I was such a big fan of finally MMA getting its its one spotlight like moment, they they got to be on the big stage, and Connor is the big stage. He I don't care what anybody says. That man was the A side in the fight. Yes, he had to give a cut to the UFC. Yes, Floyd runs his own promotion, but Connor finally opened up the possibility of MMA fighters to break into that main stage, and he already kind of had done that, but on a big scale, on a global scale, the second biggest combat sports fight ever. But out of that has birthed the YouTube boxing scene, and. When it was condensed to YouTube boxing, it's interesting because the talent levels usually are the same. Um, there's a little bit of a dramatic factor that, that, again, Conor McGregor brings, but not a lot of people do, you know? Seeing two people that you don't really know a lot about, you don't know how their skills are, uh, participating in a, in, a, in a contest that is, you know, let's be honest, it's it's tailored to them. It's, it's a six-round fight. They aren't in boxing shape. They try their best, and to be fair to Logan and, and Jake, uh, and, and all the YouTubers, they've been training their asses off. They got millions of dollars to build those training facilities. They better do something with it, right? Um, but th th we're getting into territory that you can't come back from if you're boxing. If this is allowed to be sanctioned, if someone finds a way to license these two to go into a boxing match, they're calling it an exhibition, so I don't know exactly how that works. Like, do you need to, to, to have some sort of licensing to put on an exhibition? I don't know. Either way, if this thing happens and they sell tickets for it and it's put on in a local, uh, a public venue, a big venue, whatever, this is the death of boxing. You cannot allow this to happen. I don't care if Floyd's 70 years old. Logan Paul is not touching this guy. And even if he touches him, God forbid, what if, what if Logan Paul throws a right hand and knocks out Floyd Mayweather? We're all fucked. I'm going to let you guys know now. It's over. Combat sports, everything, it's over. If Logan Paul runs the boxing world, we're done. I'm probably, I'm, I'm playing to the crowd a little bit because I don't think this is ever in a million years this could ever happen. And if we're putting predictions on it, what would happen if this got, you know, booked and, and like I said, they found a venue and they got licensed, Floyd would, would box this full into oblivion. Logan would gas in about five and a half, six rounds. Floyd would ask for 10 rounds, I'm sure. Uh, even for an exhibition, he would he understands where his strengths lie, and it's Floyd fucking Mayweather. He's not going to put himself in a bad position. We've seen this. Um, yeah, well, Floyd would box him up. But again, I, this, there's no way this can happen. There is absolutely no way this can happen. Uh, I, I, I wanted to talk about this story because, again, we've, we've covered Logan Paul and Jake Paul. Another thing I kind of want to point out is these guys, I don't know. They've, they, they look good for the time that they've been boxing. 
Jake Paul has decided he's a boxer now. Um, okay, I think he's fighting Nate Robinson as well. Uh, I've never seen Nate Robinson box. Again, I don't know how these guys get licensed. But as long as they've been training, and again, credit to them, they've, they've put in the work, they put in the hours, they've worked with some high-level guys, and they've gotten better. I think Logan's a really good natural athlete. I think he is far and away the superior boxer to Jake. I think if they get in, they're close in weight. I think if they get in a ring together in a backyard or somewhere with a small venue, Logan wins because he is the better superior athlete boxer, in my opinion. Now, if you put them in Staples Center and sell it out, Jake first Logan, Jake will beat him. Logan has this weird issue with, again, he's one of the biggest YouTubers in the world, but that doesn't, and that doesn't reflect a live audience. And a live audience is not a camera that you stand in front of and make vlogs and then send it out, and then you get the feedback. It's feedback right in your face, right then, right there. And Logan gets that feedback, and he shrinks. It happened to him twice. It happened in the first KSI fight, and it damn sure happened in that second KSI fight. Sickness, whatever he was, he, was, he was making that excuse about, some people are not made for that big stage. And I think Logan's one of those guys, as much as he doesn't maybe want to admit it, and he doesn't really have to admit it, he's getting paid bank to do it, but you can see it. And people that have competed, and he's competed, people that have competed in front of large crowds, you can see it when a guy is shrinking under that, and he did. So I think it, and the more likely scenario would be Jake fighting his brother Logan. And I think Jake would beat him in a big stage like that. Jake doesn't seem to have any nerves. He, he, he performs. He comes out and performs. The guy You might not like the guy, but he comes out and puts on a show and he performs. Now, what I was going to say is, for as long as they've been training and the strides they've made, these guys are beatable, man. They really are. And I'm not going to do the whole thing where I campaign again for a fight versus Logan or, or Jake. Listen, I am at the, I am scraping the bottom of the barrel with the YouTube shit. They have nothing to gain and everything to lose from taking on a guy like me. Nothing. And it, it would never happen in a million years. But I just, it, you know, the competitor in me sees that and is like, there's, for them to be training for going on two years now, there's not a lot of improvements that I'm seeing. And they don't look very good <laughs> they don't in the small amount of time that i've trained i would say one yes i would have to work on my conditioning a lot but the skill sets aren't much different listen all i'm saying is if these two need sparring partners for if in logan's case he's going to be fighting floyd mayweather or jake's case he's going to be fighting a former slam dunk contest champion sign me up i'll, I'll come to la i will but i'm gonna have to have a contract that says i can independently film this spark session so we don't get any kind of doctored footage. You know what I'm saying? They cut it off right before Jake hits the mat or right before Logan pisses his pants because it's in front of more than five people. Let's just, okay, just just make sure we get that in writing. Uh, legal team, can we? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a legal team. Oh, okay, cool. But, yeah, there's there's no way this happens. I, I don't really know why I'm covering this story other than the fact that I, I feel like there's something coming down the line for Logan Paul and YouTube is YouTube, so... Got to cover, got to cover the big names. Got to see what they're doing, man. Uh, Jake apparently, like I said, supposed to be fighting Nate Robinson at some point. But if this happens, boxing, I need you to listen, okay? I'm going to say this loud and clear. If this happens, if this gets sanctioned, boxing is over. You guys are a joke if this happens. That's it. Period. 